I'm good. Great. You all set there? Yep. Comfortable? Make sure you're set. Hey, we got a few guys here to ask you some questions. We'll kick things off. First up is Ben Hall. Ben? Hey, Haskell. Uh, how you doing? Um, I was uh, all year, especially later in the year, we've really seen how talented this defensive line is. Um, how was practicing against a talented front every day helped you guys uh, progress throughout the season? You know, it's, um, it's a great opportunity and it's a great look to go against the best, you know, iron sharpens iron and um, going against guys like Wyatt Davis and Josh Myers, um, Harry Miller and those guys and our attack with Stair Mumford and Nick Petit. Um, those guys get you guys, get, get us ready uh, for games and to play in big time uh, moments. Next up will be Tony Gerdeman. Tony? Haskell, Kerry Combs said one of the things he's loved about this season is just how resilient you guys are. What's that been like as, as one of the team's leaders to know, you know the guy next to you may not be there each week and you know somebody might be coming back. How do you maintain, uh, I guess, the leadership ability that you've been known for? Um, you know, every week, uh, me and Coop, uh, you know, as long as me and Cooper are okay and we keep the spirits high in the defense um, and in our unit, uh, that's all That's all that matters really. You know, we know if we're okay, the rest of the guys are okay and um, they feed off of us. We be the energizer bunnies for the, not only the defense, but for the guys in the room, you know, whether a guy goes down due to injury or COVID, next guy's up and we're, we're coaching those guys, those young guys. And so it's always been, it's not about replacing, it's about reloading. Next is Austin Ward. Austin? Haskell, how far have you seen uh, Teron Vincent come over these last six, seven games? I know it took a little while for him to get on the field, injuries and stuff over the last couple of years, but what's he giving you guys now? You know, Teron's giving us his all, you know, everything that he was in high school, he's better now. Um, I don't think anybody's really realized that um, Teron came off an a injury and started playing right away. Um, he had, you know, a major surgery in the summertime and then literally had a little time to get ready and rehab and got ready for it. And so um, Teron's doing a great and outstanding job in my, in my opinion, um, at that position. Next we'll hear from Nathan Baird. Nathan? Haskell, you guys are coming off of a, another good performance against the run and you really kind of bottled up Travis Etienne pretty well. How is the, the Najee Harris challenge similar? How is it different as far as trying to stop him? No, he's a great. Najee's a great uh, running back. Um, he's a great. I remember seeing him in high school. We're at the opening. <clears throat> great dynamic running back. Um, you know, very powerful, big running back. Great speed. So, like again, we have a challenge ahead of us. When you get into this, like um, this March Madness, your talent's going to equate. And so it's just um, how well you're going to execute, like Coach Day says and, um, you know, uh, be able to execute the game plan. And so we have a great challenge ahead of us and he's a great running back and he brings a lot of um, different versatile dynamic to their uh, offense. Next up is Patrick Murphy. Pat? Haskell, this offensive line just, just won the Joe Moore Award for the best offensive line in the country. and, and I, you may disagree for your guys' line. It sounded like Pete did, but the challenge of going against an offensive line that, that is that good, is that something that excites you guys as a defensive line gets, gets you going? Not to take away anything from other guys, but just, just to play against what is considered the top offensive line in the country, does that get you a little more animated for this game? You know, um, we got to play our best. Um, this offensive line that we're playing, they're the best of the best. And so um, that just makes me more excited. You want to play the best. And um, no, this is, they're a great offensive line, very athletic, very fast. Um, 
very big old line and you know I I'm more than excited I, I don't think there's anything to motivate yourself that you need to be motivated to play a great you know offense and offensive line next will be Dan Hope Dan hey Haskell just with you know, the line of scrimmage in this game, obviously that was such a big key for you guys in, you know, beating Clemson in the semifinals. How big do you think that is once again here to have a chance to beat Alabama? It'll be one in the trenches, no doubt. Um, games like this will be one up front. If you can't, if you can't move offensive and defensive lines, then you have no chance at winning, in my opinion. Um, you know, we're, Offensive linemen and defensive linemen are unsung, unsung heroes. So, you know, we might not get the glamorous, you know, the flash, but it's one up front. And, you know, the better front is going to win this game. Next was David Jones. David? Haskell, uh, could you uh, speak to uh, the communication skills and the uh, ability to teach and what makes Larry Johnson unique that way. Um, what do you what do you mean by? Well, there's there's coaches and coaches. What makes Larry Johnson a good teacher? I'm assuming he's a good teacher and mm -hmm. good at teaching technique, especially communicating. I'd say each year um, it's something different. He puts his flavor on you know that D line he has that year and what he wants to get done. Um, the way that he teaches is very clear. It's very straightforward. Um, he doesn't, he doesn't, you know, do all the raw, raw. He, he touches your soul. Um, what touches, do you mean by that? He touches your soul as in like, you know, when you give, he, it's to the point where like, I trust him in anything and I believe in it. Once you believe in him and, um, and everything that he is telling you and teaching you, um, it'll make your game excel. And I think that um, it's a true testament to who he is. And um, when he gives you his word um, and you trust in it, the sky's the limit. Thank you. Well, next is Kurt Burmester. Kurt? Uh, Haskell, knowing what you went through before you even got into a game this year and what you had to come back from, does you and the Buckeyes making it this far make it even sweeter as a result for you personally this year? Yeah, you know, um, not only has the team faced adversity, but I myself, you know, every guy has faced different adversities and has a different path um, within themselves and us as a team. And um, it's everybody's sacrifice and um, willingness to go through trials and tribulations um, this season alone will will make it all worth it. All right, Bill Rabinowitz, Bill. Haskell, uh, I wanna ask you about Tyreek Smith. He, he's always been a guy who's flashed and, and shown, shown that ability, but it seems like the last uh, late in the season, he's really become more consistent and dominant force. What, what have you seen in him and his development? You know, I mean, I think we've we've become more tied in as a D line. Um, you know, the ends are kind of they do their thing and they have their own check downs. But I feel like um, just overall, um, usually I me and Tommy are on the same page and um, now the ends have become more tied in with the inside guys. Whereas there's kind of, there was, there used to be kind of a disconnect because they have their own reads. Um, but now there's almost every guy knows every position, even the inside guys. So the connection there has allowed us and allowed him to play faster. Um, his knowledge of the game has um, enhanced and he knows when he has one-on-ones, when he doesn't, and what, what is behind him and where his help is. So um, I feel that, you know, with more, with more games go on, um, he be, he's becoming more dominant. And um, it's a true testament of how he's playing. Great. Thanks a lot for your time today, Haskell. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. Come visit us over at BuckeyeGrove.com for all the best Ohio State information on the web.